welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a massive Sephora haul. Like, this is one bag. This is the second bag. I am talking about the massive, huge, once a year, 20% for VIB rouges. I think they have them for VIBs. I'm sure they're going to have something special for regular beauty insiders. So definitely wait for that. Make sure your emails are updated, your addresses are updated. Everything and your life is updated with Sephora because it's serious. <laughs> did get new lighting. Please let me know how this works. If you guys like my backdrops better or you guys want maybe a different setting. I don't know. I feel like showing you guys my room is making it a little bit more personal. But please let me know what you guys would prefer to see. Now let's get started. First off, I picked up the Sephora Favorites Extend Your Style. So this is a bunch of dry shampoos. It comes with the... Amika Dry Shampoo 24K Living Proof Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar, which I've heard it's really, really good. And then the Bamboo Style, the Chlorine, and the Bumble and Bumble Powder Dry Shampoo. This one I really want to try. I've heard it's really volumizing, so I still have to try that one. My hands down favorite, though, it's not even in the box, is the Living Proof one. This is amazing. I actually, I guys, my love was so serious that I had to go and get the full size. The full size costs $22 and that whole kit costs $32. And you get to try out a bunch of different dry shampoos. I'm so picky with dry shampoos. This is in like no particular order because I went ham at Sephora. I picked up these face sheet masks. I always, always Snapchat them. Follow me on Snapchat if you don't. But oh, they're so good. The pearl and the green tea ones are hands down my favorite. So I picked these up in bulk. They're only like six bucks, but the green tea one has helped with my blemishes and my redness so much. Whenever I'm breaking out, I will plop this on. I wake up the next day and I'm like, what's a blemish? My skin is just like, thank you. Very much Ari for that. And the pearl one, oh, it just feels like an expensive facial that you did on your face for like under $10. I also picked up the Cogendo Aqua Foundation, so everybody and their mamas has been talking about this foundation. The shade that I got was 113, and I still feel like it's a little bit too light for me. The struggle of finding my shade, I bought like four, and I still could not find my shade. I was so mad. Yes, it'll work for now, but in the summer, I'm gonna have to get another color. I'm so mad, but whatever. Next, I got another one of the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I just love it. I had to get another size because I was running out of my mini and my full size, and I was just like, what is life? It's amazing. Don't use any other setting powder. It's so good. I also got the <laughs> Anastasia Self Made Palette, so I was so excited. Like, you guys don't even, you just don't even know. It's like, how could you not? This is just so pretty. Uh, I actually don't really think it's as warm. I actually don't think it's as warm as her other palettes are, which is kind of disappointed, but you know what? The pigmentation is there. It's so beautiful. It's just the fact I got my hands on this made me so happy. <laughs> This is another purchase that I'm like so stoked about. I got the Kat Von D Liquid Lip Stain in Bow and Arrow. You guys know how hard this is to get. This is like to me the other Lolita, the new Lolita. It's good on everyone. It looks a little bit more nude on very dark skin, but I feel like it's just it's so beautiful. It's like a brown based neutral and it's just gorgeous. On me, it's not too dark at all. I'm just, I'm so obsessed. I'm actually really excited about this one too. I'm excited about everything. I got the Bobbi Brown Highlight in Pink Glow. This is actually my everyday highlight. I love it. It's so beautiful. Oh, I Snapchatted this one as well. I'm just so obsessed with it. So this was another splurge. I probably don't know if I would buy this full price. It's the Kevin Aquan. <clears throat> this is the Kevin Aquan uh, Sensual Skin Enhancer. So I guess you can use this as a concealer and you can also use this as a corrector and even a foundation. But I feel like, how small is that? That's like so small. It smells like paint. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm excited to try this one out because I have heard really good things. I saw Kylie Jenner use it in her app. If you guys watch or you guys should just subscribe to her app. I think Kylie is so perfect. Her style, her makeup, her everything. She's just gorgeous. 
Next off, I picked up the egg cream mask, the two too cool for school. I got the four pack for 28. I actually heard that these are amazing. Um, I think they're a Korean brand. And I heard that they're really moisturizing and nourishing, so I had to give it a try. I am obsessed with sheet masks. Yet another mask that I got is the Glam Glow Youth Mud. This one actually comes with the brush, the cleanser, and also a small of the white one. I actually have to get the white one in full size. I regret not buying that one, but this mask is so nice. Next off, I got one of my favorite makeup remover wipes. White wipes. It is the Ola Henriksen Nurture Me Cleansing Cloths. These are excellent. They, I think, are $15. They're kind of pricey, but I really like them, and I figured because of the sale, why not? Next, I got the Lolita Lip Duo. So these are two minis of Lolita and Lolita 2. So I guess Kat Von D has two different batches of Lolita, and she finally decided to just make Lolitas. I also got the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in Sugar Sugar. This is the most beautiful pale pink lip gloss ever. I would have never bought this without the 20% off. This was a total splurge. I was just like, I don't know what went over me to buy this. I'm so happy that I did. It's just so good. They're so soft. They're so not sticky. And they don't smell like anything. Actually, they have like that peppermint smell. And it's not strong like... Them. It's actually really, really soft. Like, I had to look for it. Next up, I got two of my favorite makeup remover. This is the Bobbi Brown Instant Longwear Makeup Remover. I only use it for my eyes. I use a regular makeup remover wipe for my face, and then I just wash my face. It's so amazing. I absolutely love it, and I picked up two. This is the biggest size they had. If they had a bigger size, I would have picked that up so quick. I also got two more sheet masks. I got the Karuna Clarifying Face Mask. I actually did give this a shot. This is for acne and like clarifying your acne and all that stuff. This, I didn't see much of a difference the next morning, so I still totally vouch for my green tea um, mask from Sephora Collection. And then I also picked up the Dr. Jart Spot Jet Laugh Line Lift Mask, but this one pretty much helps with the smile line areas. I got a personal concern with this area, so I'm hoping that this helps and that it's Botox in a sheet mask for me. So I did pick up from their travel section the Bite Five Night Fix for Lips. Basically, this was only $18 and it comes with both a lip scrub and the Agave Lip Mask. So this one, I love this lip mask so much. It's great for nighttime when you wake up, your lips are like, what are dry lips? And the lip scrub, Guys, it smells like straight cherries. It's so nice. And the lip scrub alone is 18, and the lip mask is 26. So this was a really good deal. They are mini sizes, but I'm so obsessed. I can't. I can't. I picked up another of the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. You guys know how obsessed I am with this. If you have sensitive, dry, flaky skin, Butter fingers. If you have sensitive and dry skin, you will absolutely love this. Even with like rosacea and eczema, this line is amazing for you. Next, I got another mask. <laughs> I got the Dr. Jart Blackhead Master Patch. So I've also been having a lot of blackheads. I haven't like done like the patches in so long. So I picked that up hoping that it'll work. Next, I actually forgot that I displayed this, but I picked up the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Barbara. Guys, this is just so pretty. I am obsessed with Raquel. You guys know that is my new pink go-to, but I feel like sometimes on an everyday basis, it's a little bit too nude. So this is the shade up. It's a little bit more of a rose shade. Okay, we're going on the next bag. Stay. So this one was a splurge. It hurt to buy this one. I got the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. This is supposed to be a retinoid oil that reduces pore sizes, improves appearance of damaged skin, and helps fight wrinkles. You know my problem area. It says that it also helps with the sun damage, with pollution, with like stress, and I'm under a lot of stress. And I actually read online that it helps with acne for a lot of people who reviewed it, and I was just like, Blood. It's a really nice blue oil. It's so funny. My coworker told me it smells like corn tortillas. And every time I put it on, I'm just like, corn tortillas. This is expensive. And I have noticed a difference in my skin. 
I didn't think I would. I was like, I had the box ready. I was like, if I don't like you, you're going back. <laughs> I'm keeping it. It's so good. I love it. I wash my face, put this on, put on my eye cream, my face cream, and I'm just like, oh. My redness significantly. My acne has been reduced. My pore sizes, but wow. Every time I wake up, my skin looks a lot more even. It looks brighter in complexion. So I see, I see you. Expensive. Expensive. So next up, I did get the Dior Glow Maximizer Light Boosting Primer. I've been using this every single day since I've got it. Next, I got the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. So this one is supposed to be like an HD foundation. And ooh, it's really, really nice. It has um, really nice packaging. It was new, and I actually swatched it, and I was really impressed with the coverage that you get and it's moisturizing caught my attention also HD next I got the first aid beauty eye cream the 5 in 1 age delay so I don't know if you guys have seen my previous videos but I do use the face cream and I love it basically so the 5 in 1 yeah, reduces appearance of wrinkles improves radiance it corrects uneven skin tone it nourishes and moisturizes for the Next, I got even more sheet masks. I just, I'm just obsessed. I got the tomato face mask in Radiance from Tony Moly. I got the coconut hydrating mask from Tony Moly. And I got the tea tree soothing. So next, I got the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So this is a powerful mask that helps with exfoliating, gently deep cleansing, while refining skin's texture. It also helps with pores vanishing and radiance restorage, and the skin looks refreshed and flawless. I also picked up this Sephora Colorful Blush in Tran Tranquil. It's not very colorful. It's like a pure, straight gray shade. I actually um, am hitting, almost hitting pan on my Kat Von D contour palette. I am on the hunt for a contour shade. I hope that I like it just as much, but. We'll see. So next, I got this really cute Sephora collection, Lindsay Sleeping Mask. So the Ling Lindsay, oh goodness, I don't think I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry. If someone corrected me, feel free to. Probably not. But this is an anti-aging and smoothing sleeping mask. Um, they said on the website that you can actually have a bunch of uses in like this little package. So I guess you're just supposed to grab a little bit and slather it on your face as the last step before you go to bed and wake up, wash it off, and you're skin should be like amazing so yeah they also said to put it in like a little sandwich bag or something to like store the product so I was like very intrigued so next up I did get a sh fresh sugar honey um, lip balm I just I love these this is so awesome so next up I got these limited edition Stila liquid lip sets I actually um, have some of these in my car, I'm sorry. I wanna show you guys all the colors, but basically it has two nudes. Are you surprised those are the two missing? <laughs> I really like the liquid lip stains from Stila. They don't dry out my lips at all, and they stay on really well, they're super matte. Okay you guys, so that actually finally ends my haul. I know that took forever, and I'm sorry, but let me know how you guys like this new setup. If you guys want to see any reviews or any tutorials using any of the items that I got, let me know, and I will definitely film that for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody!